Do you wonder how long after meeting a brand new person you should transition into business talk? This is a very common question and it doesn't have to take forever. However, it has to be done in a very sexy way. In this episode number 100, I'm going to share with you how to transition into business with anyone that you just met fast, but also in a way that is going to make them appreciate you for being direct and without coming across as an opportunist. So, stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new, brand new episode with a freebie of some sort attached to it for you to be empowered in your own way. So let's dive into the tips that I want to share with you. But before we get into those tips, actually, let's just celebrate for a moment together. This is episode number 100. 100 episode. It's epic. And when we'll get to 500 or 600 or 1000, it will seem probably like nothing, but this is epic. So I just want to acknowledge you and thank you for, you know, being here, watching each and every single week, you know, absorbing the content, sharing it as well. I'm really, 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 really grateful for everything that you've been doing because without you, I would not be here doing what I do. So thank you so much. Now, the first tip is about actively connecting with people. You see, some people make the mistake to think that they're going to post something, put a post up on their social media and it's going to blow immediately with people asking them for what they do, what they sell in terms of product services and opportunity. This might be true for some leaders out there that have been creating credibility within their audience and their community that they've been working at for a long time, but it is not the typical way and the typical feedback that people will get when they are first starting. So we've got to be real here. Even though it is easier to build a brand online than in person, it is still taking work. It is a lot of work to actually create something that is, you know, sustainable, tangible, and working. So we've got to be consistent and we've got to connect with people genuinely, as well as daily in groups, in on your own profile by providing value and making people want to engage with you in return as well on a daily basis. My second tip is to be a human first. Another very common mistake that people make is to ask the question too clumsily, too quick, too fast. What I mean by this is that they don't take the time to make the other person on the other side feel acknowledged. People will always appreciate when you are interested in them rather than trying to be interesting yourself. People really don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. You probably heard that you probably heard that before and this is so true each and every single time. People love talking about themselves, but in your case as a business owner, you want to make sure to make other people talk more than you do and listen. Typically speaking, I would send a message immediately along with my friend request and say something along the line of, hey, Rosie, nice connecting with you over in the ABC group. I so agree with you when you said this, this and that. And I really love the fact that you live in Boston and I actually live in London. Have you ever been in England? So you essentially edify them, acknowledge the fact that you are really enjoying the fact of connecting with them within the place you connected together, 
continue the conversation agreeing or you know just acknowledging that conversation you were having over there as well as pick something from their profile whatever it might be it can be the place they're living something that they've just posted and you know acknowledge that as well it will show them you are taking interest in who they are and you've been checking out their profile as well you're not just connecting and sending a message and hey do you want to be friends you are truly showing them that you are interested rather than interesting and also when i finish the end the the message with a question so if i say you know like oh you live in boston and i've been there then okay that's great that's awesome i like that city for this i actually live in london have you ever been in london or in europe before that is opening the conversation it makes you engage and make them want to engage back People will love that you are truly communicating with them and that you are interested in them as well as opening up yourself to them so it makes them replicate and mirror that openness to you. And as you know, each and every single week, I do create a new freebie for you to be empowered in your own way within your business and your personal life this week because we are talking about how to transition into business with a very cold lead I brought back my Facebook profile guideline, which is going to help you tweak your profile if needed to make people see what you are about and wanting to ask you for more information about what you do and what you sell, etc. This is really important. Your profile is your first exposure. Even when you are friending people up, they are naturally going to check you out. You've got to have certain elements on your profile which is going to put you, uh, to, to position you as an authority within your field. So if you want to have access to my Facebook profile guideline, then just click the yellow button below this video and that guide will be sent automatically to your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platform for that matter, you just need to go into the description section and you will see a link that will take you back to my blog where below this video again, you'll have a massive yellow button you cannot miss. Once you click it, you'll be downloading the Facebook profile guideline guide which will be into your email box. And my third and final tip is about transition. You see, so many people, again, have made this common mistake, and so did I, for many, many years, which is to wait way too long to ask the question whether they are open to take a look into my product, service, or opportunity. Is there something, is there such thing as too quick, though? Uh, you know, people love when someone is spilling the tea sooner rather than later, hey? So, you know, after a few back and forth messages, I do typically send this, mes this message, which is something along the line, hey, you know, the reason for contacting you also is because I insert a genuine compliment and because I'm also working on that project that I would love to share some information about with you. So I was wondering if you would be open to take a look into it at all and see if it would be working for you or interest you in any ways if it wasn't interfering with whatever you are doing currently. Let me know if you're open to take a look into what I would love to share with you. And if not, no big deal. That's absolutely fine. And now you are talking business, my friends. And notice that there are some psychological, intentional aspect within this message that I'm usually sending, typically. It is such as the reason for connecting with you is because after a few messages, you know, two or three messages back and forth, saying this is really telling them, okay, do you know what? I, I'm really interested into what you've got going on, but I also want to be straightforward and tell you what is it that I've intentionally wanted to connect with you. And also there is that if, if you are open, if I was wondering if you're open and if you are open, let me know because, hey, who is not open in life? 
Most of the time people would say, yes, of course, I'm open to take a look into what you've got going on. Sure, share away with me. And the last component, psychological component, which is really important, hey, for them as well as for you, is to give this exit strategy, this exit possibility when you say, and you know, if, you, if you're not open, that's absolutely fine, no big deal, then it, it makes them feel at ease that, okay, they can check your stuff, that's absolutely fine, and they can decide, it's up to them to say yes or no, they are wanting to get involved or to buy from you, uh, but it doesn't put them under pressure. So really important to have those elements because people will be open and feel like they can say no freely without feeling under pressure. And for you, as the provider of that message, it also psychologically wise, if you're, especially if you, are, if you have difficulties to deal with rejection, it will tell your subconscious that it is okay if they are saying no. It's not a big deal if they are not wanting what you have to offer. So it's a really double winning situation for you as well as your prospects and the relationship between the two of you. So in conclusion, it all starts on how you position yourself in front of your prospects and how you get, you get the conversation going between the two of you. It will need maybe a few tweaks here and there and practice as well until it becomes a second nature and completely natural for you to adapt and use everything that I've shared with you today in this episode. And remember, I've got your back anyway to tweak your profile with my Facebook profile guideline guide, which you can get by clicking the yellow button below this video and that will get sent immediately into your email box. If you download this, that's gonna help you to make those little tweaks changes right from now. And when people are going to fall onto your profile, they're going to see you as someone of credibility, of authority, which they can really trust. And remember, there's always this no like trust factor that I bring the conversation back to, which is really important. You want people to know you, to uh, trust you, to like you and trust you, okay? So did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know it. You can smash the share button, send it to your fellow makeup artists, network marketers, entrepreneurs, whomever you believe that would benefit from these video trainings that I'm making each and every single week with the freebie attached to it that you can download and they can download just like you. Question of the week. What is your main struggle when it comes to share what you have to offer. What do you struggle mo most with when you've got to offer your options to people? Let me know in the comment section if there's anything that you're struggling with and that I can, that I can help you with, if there's any strategies that you may need, some systems, some tools, anything that you feel you're struggling with when offering your options to your people or your opportunity, your product, your service, then please let me know and I'll be happy to help you out with whatever I may have available or I may know because I don't know everything, but if I've got anything that can help you along the way in your business, then I'll be happy to share, of course. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really happy to connect with you each and every single week. I am so grateful for you to celebrate this 100 episodes with me and uh, this one is a wrap but we keep on going the show must go on so i will see you on the next video and we'll carry on the work together thank you so much bye bye, -bye.